Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season four, episode three. Now in the last episode, I don't even need my notepad for this one, dude. Probably the bet my probably a top three favorite episode in the last one. Cause our boy, not our boy, but like our nemesis fucking died. Our <clears throat> He got fucking waxed. Okay. Joffrey got fucking waxed. Oh, he got mogged. All right. You know, okay. So basically, Joffrey, at his own wedding, at his royal wedding, he got poisoned and it basically killed him. Now we don't really, now we don't know who did it yet. I have a really strong feeling Sir Dantis had something to do with it because as soon as it was happening, he went up to Sansa and he was like, hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here, you know? He's like, if you ever, if you want to leave, we gotta leave right now. So, yeah. And but then, since Joffrey was just trying to be a, a dickhead and be like, be my cup holder, Tyrion, be my cup holder or whatever, just making him do all that. It really looks like Tyrion did it. When I, yeah, he had no idea, he had no intention of doing this. When Tyrion had nothing to do with it, and now Cersei is gonna be like, kill him immediately. I. Don't think they kill him immediately, but I'm sure he's going to go to jail or prison, be locked in a prison cell again or something. Something like that's going to happen to him. Something like that. Something like him going to a prison cell is probably going to happen. But like, honestly, like, oh, well, obviously Tyrion's going to be like, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. You know, he's going to defend himself and they're be kind of confused. Cersei's going to be like, I'm going to have him killed right now for doing this to joffrey but then tywin's probably gonna be like whoa 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 calm down calm down okay that's i get my grandson just fucking died but let's chill for a second you know and then that will kind of like calm everyone down not really but it will it will prevent them from killing Tyrion right away all right i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you want to if you want to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So, let's get started. Oh my god. You! Where's Sansa? Find her. Bar the gates of the city sees every- Oh, fuck. Okay. Where is she? No one leaves the capital! No one! Tywin's tweaking right now. I mean, I figured he'd get mad. But I- Okay. But like, I'm kind of figuring they're going to just kill Tyrion on spot immediately. But now they realize Sansa's not here. So they're probably going to try and kill her. Be like, oh, she definitely has something to do with this. Yeah, because it does look mad sus that Sansa left. Also, I do not have a pen. So I am not taking notes on my notepad for this episode. I'm taking them on my phone. So if it looks like I'm on my phone, I'm just taking notes. Dude, Sansa finally got out of there. Finally. You'll be fine. You're stronger than you know. Okay, why is she going first? This seems kind of, this seems like a trap. I don't know if Sir Dantas has good intentions or not, but if he is who I remember I think he is how she saved him. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> Bail Baelish! Peter. Peter, it's Peter. You are good. I'm sure you've had quite a fright, rest easy. The worst is past. Okay, so so Baelish definitely had something to do with killing Joffrey. Voices carry over water. I should get back before someone thinks to look for me. First. Oh, he's gonna die as soon as he gets back. Ten thousand? Was it? Ten thousand. Okay, so Baelish was behind Joffrey's death. Uh, respect the Baelish. R hard respect. Wait! Ah. Uh, a thousand gold cloaks are searching for you. <laughs> Did they find you? How do you think they would punish the girl who murdered Fuck. the king? I didn't hurt anyone. Fuck. I know. I know. But you must admit I had the scene of his murder. Yeah. What? what? Money buys a man's silence for a time. A bolt in the heart buys it forever. Yeah. But it's not... It's immoral as fuck. And he gave you a priceless necklace. That once belonged to his grand... I am taking this one. Yeah, you can't have this. Oh, it's proof. Like, you'll be associated. I want to tell you about the capital. It's a bunch of liars. We're all liars here. Yeah. Come, my lady. All right, so it's just all calf. 
Sailing home. Bro, you literally just said you're all liars. No, she's not. <laughs> I love Lord Baelish. He's he hasn't been in the show for a minute. Cause yeah, he went to go do his own thing. So I kind of forgot about him, not gonna lie. It's definitely definitely a top five favorite character. Definitely top five. But you enjoyed it more than you would have enjoyed being married to him, I can promise you. <laughs> Facts. The next one should be easier. True. Next one will be will be easier. Okay, so is this is his little brother, right? That kid they just show showed. Pretty sure he's in line to what the fuck? Your brother is dead. Yeah, he's in line to be king next. You will become king. Mm hmm What kind of king do you think you'll be? Dude, just be better than Joffrey. Food was of this world and this world was sinful. Wow. Starved himself. Good king must be just. But nah. What about strength? Yes. Strength. Just have a spine Feet. to do what needs to be done. That's it. Don't be a pushover. Dude, just be like Rob. The good side of Rob. Be like Rob, but just don't be ignorant and arrogant and too cocky. Rob wasn't cocky, but like, he didn't really take advice. But what is wisdom? Experience. A house with great wealth. You can't have wisdom without experience. Doesn't. Yeah. You're young. Be humble. Be open-minded. Listen to them long afterwards. Okay. I look, you feel like he's just grooming him here. Okay. Please give the queen a moment alone with us. Okay. It feels like Tywin's kind of just grooming him while he do while he doesn't really know much. But it's actually kind of a good thing, actually, because he'll at least he'll be a good team king. But Tywin's like, you gotta listen to your council members, even after. You're old enough, and even after, like years to come, you gotta listen to them. So, I feel like he's kind of grooming him, just so Tywin can have control behind the scenes too. Like, like I think it said his name was Tormund on the subtitles, just so Tormund will just be a puppet to Tywin, regardless. So, he seemed like a good kid. He seemed like a really good kid. He seemed like the opposite of Joffrey. <laughs> just be the opposite of Joffrey, and you'll be you'll be good. Oh, is ours unknown? Kill Tyrion. I mean, I knew that, but like. No. Free them, give us a chance. I want him dead. Well, too fucking bad. He was her son. He, he, oh, baby boy. He's a horrible. I get, I get. She's his mom, so like, she sees it totally different. But like, no, dude, Joffrey, he was a menace. Dude. <laughs> he was a disease. He had to go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Kill her. The fucking rocks on his thighs. Just fuck. <laughs> They're getting me. Oh god. Jamie, 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 chill. No. Jamie, chill. Jamie, chill. Okay, this is. I don't care. This is fuck. I don't care. Jamie, that Jamie. No, ja Jamie. I lost respect for Jamie. Lost respect for Jamie. Okay, even if Cersei wanted to do it right there, how are you gonna fuck? How you? How are you gonna fuck someone on in your son's grave? <laughs> that's horrible. That's horrible in itself. And she was saying stop, like no. And he kept going. So like that's no lost respect. Lost respect. Standing on it is my land. We were just watering the horses. We'll be on our way. There's a storm coming. You'll be wanting a roof tonight. Yeah. See, Arya is educated on all this. She knows exactly which house to say. Yeah, she knows her houses, so she knows, like, depending where she is, she knows exactly what to say. We asked the maiden to protect Sally's virtue and keep her from the clutches of depravity. You're going to do all seven of <laughs> <laughs> Tonight for no damn reason at all. <laughs> he's so, yeah, he's like, fuck all this. Jesus. The gods will have their vengeance. Good. Frey will burn in the seventh hell for what he did. Good. And look at you, I bet they'd run the other way. What, are you gonna pay him? But I have hidden a bit of silver from the bandits. <laughs> please don't kill this guy and take his silver. Yeah, yeah, fair wages for fair work. Please, let's do it that way. I don't know this guy, but I, li I like him. He's fair wages for fair work. Good. This guy seems like a good guy. Okay, I don't want him. I don't want anything to happen to him. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. 
<laughs> if something happens to him, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do nothing. I'm gonna continue to watch, but I'll be really upset. <laughs> Bro. Bro. And they'll both be dead come winter. Wow. You don't know that. Weak. He can't protect himself. Uh. They're both. How many stars they got to be ahead before you figure it out? Mm. God damn it, dude. God damn it. I knew they were going to stay there. Fuck no, they weren't. At least he didn't kill them right there, but yeah, they'll probably be dead by winter, so. I'll give it a copper tonight and find out. Huh. God, I fucking hate those guys so much. You all think I'm lying. About what? Killing the White Walker. Yeah, I mean, Sam is probably the least likely person, I believe, to kill a White Walker. But he had the obsidian knife. So, that's probably what did it. You know? That's definitely what did it. And also, I did see you guys' comments. He did. He left the knife behind, but he has a bag full of a lot more, okay? I do know that now, but thank you. If John said he killed a White Walker, I'd, everyone would be like, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm, no problem. But, like, Sam, he just doesn't really seem like he would. It doesn't really seem like he'd be capable of doing it. What about Ray? Do you think about me? That's what she's trying to ask. You know, I like them I together a lot. Sam Sam deserves a love interest for sure, but with a love interest So what are you saying? We get the fuck out of here. My own little fan. Damn, really hurt her feelings there. She took it the wrong way. God damn it. Like, Sam's not wrong. Like, yeah, she's safe, but it doesn't mean she's... She's safe from anything outside of the Night's Watch coming in, but she still has to worry about the Night's Watch people themselves because they're, they're not the best people. Joffrey, the usurper, Joffrey Baratheon. Hell yeah. I said those words when I tossed a leech into the fire. The leech filled with bastard blood. Dude, that is right. That is right. He did throw the leeches in there. And I'm pretty sure... Did all three of them die? I think only two of them died so far. Your Grivas, first sword of Bravos. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I love how we're teaching him how to read. You tend not to be overly concerned with the kind of distinction. Did it just hit him? He just figured it out. Of the Iron Bank of Bravos, mm -hmm. from Stannis. It kind of seemed like as he was talking, he was just give like he was gonna just give himself the answer. Thank you. What's his name? His name is Get the fuck away from me. He's dead. He was my dad. <laughs> Dude, I don't think she's. You'll be safer here. He's gonna protect you at Castle Black. Dude, I don't think she's gonna be safer here. I feel bad for Gilly, dude. Like, I don't think this place is that great to live at. Like, dude, this place looks horrible. She, I feel like she's a lot more in danger at this place than she was at the Night's Watch, at Black at the Castle Black. But... <sighs> I don't believe that a child is responsible for the sins of his father. Okay, man. Some believe the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant. I remember that story. That was in the first season. You know me better than that. Yeah. He's not gonna kill him right here. Categorically. <laughs> Fucker. You might not enjoy it as much as he thinks he would. Yeah, he's gonna kill him. Prince Overeen's gonna kill them all. <laughs> he's gonna try to. I will also invite you to sit on the small council. Ooh. Serve as one of the new king's. A Targaryen girl has three dragons. Oh, now he respects it. Respects. Targaryen and his dragons. Okay, now he has respect for Daenerys. Yeah. Okay, I didn't show them shake. So basically, Tywin's like, look, you help me help me out with Joffrey. I help you out with Elia. Okay, that's fair. You know, I'll give you the mountain. You can murder him if you help me out. And you can be on my count. You can be on my council. So we're allies because he knows Khaleesi is on our fucking way and everyone else. But the real war is the White Walkers. It's not the fight. It's not the Kings anymore. It's the White Walkers. That's the real war. The real war is in the North. That shit's coming. Yep. 
Mace Tyrell. Mm -hmm. And Prince so O'Brien. Exactly O'Brien. They'll be following you now. Who will? I don't know. They, they. <laughs> they. <laughs> they. Things landing murders go. Any other witnesses, my lord? Well, it was really Baelish who was behind it all. Damn. Pod. Damn. Pod's so fucking loyal, dude. I love it. There has never lived a more loyal squire. Exactly. Exactly. Pod, you better get out of here, bro. Please don't die. Please. Please don't die. Please. I don't want Pod to die. Please. If Pod is the only character alive at the end of the show, I will be completely fine with that. I will be perfectly happy with that. Potatoes. Well, no one boils a potato better than your mum. She got. What the fuck? Oh, you. <laughs> Hide. Hide. You know, I was thinking, who, who are these guys? But then, oh my god. You know how to get to Castle Black? <laughs> okay, so they're gonna use this kid to get the castle black. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, they're okay, well they're just gonna send him then to Castle Black to warn them. We need to teach him a lesson about the way we deal with their kind. Oh he already made it. Damn. And me can't afford to lose a single man. Okay, so we're getting waxed by them basically. Once Raider is coming. I mean, maybe John was wrong. Maybe this is the time they, they win. We need to defend the wall. Yeah. Rangers returning. Okay. Oh, these two guys. You'd have a couple of eyes by now. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen these guys in a while. Poor girls. Never thought they'd miss their daddy. Wow. Carl's running things now. He's the one put a knife through Craster's mouth. Carl's running that shit now? Damn. I told the wildlings we had over a thousand men at Castle Black alone. <sighs> Carl and the others know the truth as well as we do. Yeah. Wildlings are peeling their fingernails off. Okay. Yeah. There's all he needs to crush us. He just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. Fuck. I don't think I can kill a hundred wildlings. Yeah, yeah no. Okay, so when John was talking to Mance, he was capping about how many people were at Castle Black. Okay. God damn it, John. I mean, he kind of had to, I guess. But now we gotta go get Carl, which I did. I liked Carl so much. I liked his accent so much. God damn it, Carl. <laughs> A champion of Marine. Okay. They want you to send your own champion against them. Grey Worm, Grey Worm. <laughs> no, I'm so- fuck, who am I sending if I'm Khaleesi's? I'm gonna send- I'm gonna- fuck, I, I forgot his name right now, but I'm sending fucking Francis after him. And I can't really call him Francis anymore because they changed the actor. What is he doing? It's taunting. I believe he means to- Oh, um, oh yeah. <laughs> Ignore him, your grace. These are meaningless words. Not you, know, you, this you know, I'm sending my dragon after him. That's what I'm doing. My dragon versus their stupid ass warrior. Yeah, I can't. I can't risk Grey Worm. Which is why you must remain by my side. Yeah. <laughs> Let me stand for you today. No, no. Let me kill this man for you. Okay. Cause like, dude, Very well. I'm not sending Sir Barristan. You have quite an audience. I'm not sending Sir Barristan. I'm not sending Jora. Can't send Grey Worm. Can't risk losing. I can't. Can't lose any of them. <laughs> are we jousting? Or are we fighting? What are we doing here? Yeah. He's just gonna like let him ride by and just cut the horse, or whatever. Just avoid the stick, the jousting stick, and just get the horse. And then as he eats shit, just stab him in the fucking chest or the throat. Oh, he's... Yep. Oh, right in the horse's face. Oh. Yep, there you go. No, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Oh. Okay, well, they missed with the arrows on purpose. 
Yeah, they're all they're all considering it. I bring you choice. I bring your enemies what they deserve. Shackle. Oh, all the shackles are in there. It's proof. Wait, oh, wait. These could be the chains of um, when they're on the way. They saw the slaves, like, you know, pointing the direction. And it could be these that they took. Or it could be the shackles from the last um, from Young Kai and put him in there. So, yeah, it's, she's throwing him into the city. Because, like, I was kind of confused. I was like, why is she opening fire on the city? I, was, I thought they'd, like, throw, like, a boulder or, like, like some shit that would do damage. But, no, she's, like, showing you, hey, these are the shackles from everyone else that I freed. It's proof, you know? So, good shit. That's really smart by Khaleesi's. I love her, dude. I'm starting to really love her so much. <clears throat> Very strong character. Very strong character. Okay, so the new king of King's Landing, I kind of, okay, so so far that little tiny scene we got with him, I, I really liked him honestly because he seems really humble, really like he doesn't know anything and he's aware of that and he's like, you know what, I don't know shit, so I'm just going to learn. I'm just going to be open-minded to whatever my grandfather tywin is telling me because he does better than me and i'm humble and i'm willing to learn you know he's not gonna just be a cocky piece of shit immediately like like joffrey like i was saying just be the opposite of joffrey and you'll be a good king but it kind of seems like tywin is grooming him a little bit so he can control him more and just really use him as a pu so tywin can use him as a puppet and just so tywin is technically the king but like not really he's making all the decisions and he has all the control but it's just he is torment i think his name is is just la the label of king or whatever when it's really tywin has all the power so okay and like stannis i guess was right when he threw the leeches in there into the fire from gendry's blood it was he said rob joffrey and bale and Greyjoy. Now, yeah, Rob died first. Joffrey died just last episode. And Balon Greyjoy hasn't died yet. So he's the last one that needs to. But honestly, it's probably going to happen pretty soon. Now, it's like, it kind of just makes him, that kind of just confirms that, like, no, Melisandre knows her shit. And now even, like, Sir Devos or Sir Onion is more of like, okay, he's like, okay, maybe, maybe she is onto something, maybe. But he's like, no, but all this sorcery is not going to win us the war we still need men and now sir devils is working on that he sent a letter to the to the banks posing as stannis to get their attention and he's gonna get a motherfucking army now he's gonna get funds for an army now so thing with john and and the night's watch in mance's the wildlings dude oh my god oh my god okay that that's gonna turn out that's gonna be bad dude that's gonna be so bad because now they have to get okay so that caster's like camp he was holding out carl stayed back and he's leading all the girls there now he's basically the leader of them and the two other knights watch the two other rangers they got out of there they finally escaped and they finally got back to castle black and they told him yeah carl runs that shit now which is kind of funny because it's like I thought we'd never see Carl again. I remember I said, oh, I really like them. Like, I really like Carl. So, now, okay. Now, the problem is, though, John told Mance there's over a thousand men at Castle Black, right? And Mance is on his way to come k take through the Night's Watch. And they're just going to storm Westeros up to a thousand miles before they find an army that can actually beat them. And so, the problem is, though, there's not a thousand men at Castle Black. There is only 100, or a little over 100, like 103, I think he said. And so, if they pull up to Castle Black, they're going to wax the Night's Watch. They're waxing them. And so, they cannot let that information get out to Mance. Mance cannot know that. He is already He's already prepared enough to take on the Night's Watch. He cannot know that. Okay. So they have to get the Carl just in case Mance gets the Carl and Carl can't tell them that. Oh, there's only a hundred men there. You know, they have to get the Carl first so he can't tell Mance. Okay. And now it's like, now that means Carl probably has to die because in the beginning of the episode, Baelish's logic 
He's like, look, you can pay a man to shut the fuck up, but if you kill him, they stay quiet forever, no matter what. So I can't risk that. You're probably gonna have to kill Carl. Damn it. God damn it. All right, whatever. And at the end of the episode, Khaleesi's basically taking over another damn city, freeing all the slaves. You know what? I, I respect it a lot. I love what she's doing. I just really hope it doesn't... F I really hope she doesn't end up losing a battle like that at some point. Losing a lot of people in her army. And, you know, like, she she's definitely... A, she's a lot more confident than she used to be now because she's proven to herself, oh, no, I run shit. I can do this, you know? I can go and do what I want. I can go free. I should be free and deserve to be freed, you know? Which is a great thing. And she's proven to herself she can do that. But maybe she might get a little too cocky and try and go after too big of a city and it's just overwhelming it's too much but then again she does have a pretty big army now and three dragons so it's gonna be honestly really hard to stop her so she probably won't fail for like a, a while i'm sure she'll lose a battle i'm sure she'll eventually lose a battle but it might not be for like a little bit so you know we'll see what that's going and then actually tywin actually acknowledged that she has three dragons and that she's gonna be she's on her way here eventually and so that's why tywin made an alliance again with the dorns i think i think they're pronounced dorn from dorn you know and that's why he wants O'Brien to be on the council so they can have a nice little alliance so good play by tywin good play good play and that was this episode of game of thrones so comment down below what you thought about this episode Let's talk about it. And if you like the video, like the video. Thanks for watching.